Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, mwah, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. So, in today's video, I'm going to be picking my favorite TV R in the month of love. Okay, I'm so excited. So, last month that's january okay uh, in, in january let's just say like that in january i was able to read at least most of the books i picked i'm currently reading cleopatra and frankenstein and i feel like i'm going to finish it before the end of the month so that's gonna be good and i didn't get to part of your world so this is the first book we're moving to our february tbr because you know it's a romance story so of course i want to read romance in february of course of course then we're going to be picking the rest from our tbr jar i really love Doing this so in January we picked one of the ones that are wrapped those ones that are here I wrapped them with my brother so let's just get that one out of the way already so let I'm going to be picking one of those numbers first so it says number 10 This is number 10. I'm actually super excited. Oh, lessons in chemistry. So, yay. Oh, I just slapped myself with the cheek. <laughs> so, yay. Our second book is Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Gamas. Honestly, I'm super excited about reading this because my friend told me that there's a dog POV in here. And aside from the dog POV, Seth, like, she told me that uh, it's actually very, very interesting. Like, the way I enjoyed uh, My Room is a Vampire, I'm going to enjoy this. And I love My Room is a Vampire. So, yes, I'm excited about this. Now, let's go to our TBR prompts that I wrote. <laughs> Okay, so this one says, a good read winner in the last three years. Last three years. So I have to go through my good reads to see the winner. Well, that sounds like a freaking long way. So how do we, how do they check the winner? Uh, let's see at home. Okay, so see the winners. So, Yellow Face. I have this book, but I've not read it, so let me see. Okay, so I'm going to pick Yellow Face since it's it won. There's also Fourth Wing. There's also Divine Rhyme Vows. I don't have that. These are all the winners in different sections, yes? So, Yellow Face or Fourth Wing. Yellow Face, Fourth Wing. Yellow Face, Fourth Wing. Honestly, I'm so scared. I think I should just pick fourth wing because I have it and I also have yellow face and I'm like if I pick fourth wing and what if I don't what if I don't uh, oh my god <laughs> let's see the results let me see what was what, what, what's this going to show me ah so the winner was yellow face hmm. yellow face the wishing game Yellow face really won. Okay, so fine. Let's just do yellow face. Let's do yellow face. So we have yellow face by RF Kwong. Let's pick another. A book with a vehicle on the cover. Okay. <laughs> Guys, you can tell by the way I am perspiring <laughs> that I've I've actually gone through heaven and earth to go and search for this this book. So I found the mechanics of Yenagua and I found my high. If you're going to count the plane, of course, it's a vehicle, and then this one has car, and this one is shorter than this one, but this one is Everybody's been raving about this and this one I've been wanting to read it for the longest of time People say it's very very funny and a light read So I'm going to check if my high is the first book in this series because if it is the first book then I'll read this But so I just want to check because I'm not always certain by least of Okay, so it is the first book. It is the first book. So we are going to be doing my eye Sorry, sorry. I'm going to pick you soon. Okay 
<laughs> okay. These are three big chunky books. I said three and I was bringing four. Oh God. A vehicle on the cover. Okay, this is another one. Whose author starts or ends with an S? Let's go and check. So, you know what I'm going to do? Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is pick one of the books on my Kindle, which is When in Rome by Sarah Adams. I actually wanted to pick Practice Makes Perfect, but I was looking at it that I've not read When in Rome, and I want to read it in order, so I'm going to pick When in Rome by Sarah Adams. Is this Sarah Adams? <laughs> She's, yeah, that's what I'm going to pick. And yeah, that's what I'm going to go for, that prompt. So I have one book on my Kindle to read. I'm so excited. Now let's go on for another prompt. You know, we gotta do it in order. Any mini money more for that's donkey, donkey that's part of that any mini more. Uh mo like this. <laughs> a calling Uva book. Praise God. <gasps> Praise God. Oh yeah. I have a lot of calling words. Red, 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 red. So I'm going to be too late by calling Uva. One, two, three, four five so let's pick one more prompt oh my god i hope this is something i really really i want to pick one of those romance books a book you've been avoiding uh there are so many books i've been avoiding <laughs> let's keep this let's keep that please let's just stick on now since i've been avoiding of course there should be a good reason why i'm avoiding it you know <laughs> i don't know okay this is one a book with a great first sentence hmm let's go check it out guys <laughs> i walked my ass off looking for these books that had a very good first sentence of course let's start with the uh, first one the long game by elena armas the first sentence says wait the head rolled off his shoulders and halted at my feet with a thump and i'm like why did his head roll off his shoulders and and end up at our feet or his feet? <laughs> huh? Like now that I think about it, it just sounds scary, not really great. <laughs> then this one got a kinda. Oh, this one was actually really scary too. It says oh? There was nothing scarier than sca problem. There was nothing scarier than a blind old woman with white for eyes suddenly gripping your arm under a full moon night. Yes, that would be scary actually. <laughs> I don't want to read that one <laughs> yet. It's love, it's a month of love. Why am I reading that? The ghosts are still here. That's just this one. Dance of Thieves. The ghosts are still here. What ghosts? <coughs> I don't know. Six of Crows by Leba Dugo. At this point, what is the beginning of this book? Jesus. Jost. Jost? What kind of name is that? Jost had two problems. The moon and his mustache. I found that actually funny because the moon is his problem and also his mustache. So I was like, um, that was funny. <laughs> good. Okay. Good girl, bad blood. I read, um, a good girl's guide to murder last in, in January. So this is the book too. Yeah. You think you know what a killer sounds like. Then I'm like, what does a killer sound like? You know? I think this is also makes sense. Oh, but I don't think uh, um, I think I should pick this one because why not? Ah, uh, it says I know it's not the political. Wait, I know it's not the politically correct thing to say, but school is most definitely for fools. It rhymes. School is most definitely for fools. It rhymes, right? It rhymes. Uh, I want to pick this one. 
Okay, and then the last one, which is the influencer series or something, uh, set on you by Emilia. It says, Dear Reader, no, no, that's the author's word. It says, The gym is supposed to be my safe place. And I want to start going to the gym this month. So I have between one, two, oh, Jesus, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to put up a poll on Instagram, and by the end of today, they are going to pick which of the uh, sayings I'm going to ask my friend because Instagram poll is going to take a whole freaking day. Yes, and I don't really have much followers. So this is me telling you to follow me on Instagram, okay? Thank you. Yes, I, I hope she picks though. Been to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the turn, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Who sends voice message in, in Nigeria? I don't have seen anybody send voice messages in Nigeria. I'm trying again. Hello? Hi. 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 How are you? How are you? I'm fine. So I am filming right now and I'm supposed to pick a book with a great first sentence. And I have some books here that I want to ask you which one you think is a great first sentence. Sorry, just a minute. Let me call you back. In how many seconds? 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Okay. So, um, you think you'd know who the, well, wait, sorry. <laughs> you think you'd know who, oh, Jesus. Is that, is that Grace? Is that Grace? Yes, it's Grace. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so, you think you would know what a killer sounds like. That's the first sentence of, of one book. Um, continue. <laughs> okay. The second one says... The ghosts are still here. Okay. Then the third one says, I know it's not the politically correct thing to say, but school is most definitely for fools. <laughs> the one. The last one says, The gym is supposed to be my safe place. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so which one is great? The second one. Second one, the one that says the ghosts yeah. are still here. Yeah. Ah. Do you know which book that is? No. It's Dance of Thieves. Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why she was so excited because of Dance of Thieves? Because she actually has been telling me to get to read this book and I have been putting off, putting off. I don't know. It's not like I've been putting off purposely, okay? It's just that I am new to fantasy and stuff like that. And she recommended this last year. Not just, like, not late last year. Like, early last year. It was, she was the one that made me buy the duology in the first place. So, that was why she was screaming. So, let's do the wrap-up of everything that we've chosen so far. A book with a great first sentence. Dance of Thieves by Mary P. Mary E. Pearson. And the first sentence says, the ghosts are still here. <laughs> That's actually scary and creepy, but yeah. A Colin Hoover book, Too Late by Colin Hoover. A book with a very cool on the cover, My High by Liz Thumford. A Goodreads winner for the past, for the past, last three years. <gasps> Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang. Number 10, among the books I wrapped is this one. Yellow, this, oh God. <laughs> Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Gamos. An author that starts or ends with S. I picked When in Rome by Sarah Adams. I'm going to read that one on my Kindle. And the last book is Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. A book I did not read last year. Uh, last month that I'm carrying over to February. So yes. So these are all the books we, we are going to read. I'm so excited. So now let's go to edit the video. A book with a great uh by Mercy E. Pearson. Pearson. Mm -mm. A book with a great... I'm currently blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm currently reading Jesus. I'm actually sweating. 